I imagine everyone in the room here has bought something online at some point. Right? Shopping online is great. It's convenient, it's fast, and the best part is nobody knows that you're almost 30 and still buying stuff about Star Wars. It's <laughs> awesome, right? I guess if there's one downside, though, it's that when you shop online, you have to send them your credit card information. And when you do that, you should feel confident about it because your credit card number is going to be secured by encryption that currently nobody knows how to crack. But that word currently kind of sticks in your mouth a little bit, you know? It would be better if it said, cannot be cracked. And this is something that a lot of people don't know, but there actually is no proof that our current encryption systems are secure against mathematical attacks. They are currently secure against mathematical attacks, but that's not quite as comfortable as if we knew they were ultimately secure against mathematical attacks. Here's where physics can come and save the day, as it so often does, right? <laughs> In my world, anyway. When you want to communicate secretly with somebody, current encryption schemes are basically all based around a, a, quantum, a, a numerical password. It's like a numerical combination lock. If you have the secret number, you can access the information. So if I want to send my credit card number to, say, the judges, don't think too hard about why I might be sending them my, my credit card information, just to show my appreciation. Then <laughs> the most difficult thing that I have to do is establish a secret number that only I and the judges have. And it turns out I can do this really well if I use something called quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is a kind of deep connection that can exist between subatomic particles that cause them to share the same properties no matter how far apart they are in space. So I generate a pair of entangled photons, and that might look something like this. And then I send it to the judges, and we agree to determine the first digit of our secret number based on some property of the photons. For example, all photons bring with them a little electric field. You could measure the direction that the electric field is oscillating. If it's oscillating horizontally, we might agree that the first digit will be a zero. If it's oscillating vertically, we'll agree that it's a one. And since our particles are entangled, we're guaranteed to get the same result. And so we just keep repeating and coming up with new numbers to get the rest of our key. OK, but why should you put your faith in an encryption system that can be explained with about $3 worth of craft supplies? The fact of the matter is, if somebody tries to intercept one of the photons, they'll break the entanglement. And if we've chosen our measurements carefully, they'll also end up randomizing many of the particles, so that when I go to measure the polarization, I will get a different number from the judges. And so we'll know that someone has been eavesdropping on our channel. It's like a foolproof alarm system that the spy is guaranteed to trip if they want my information. So unlike our current encryption systems, which have no fundamental proof of their security, quantum encryption is so powerful, it is against the laws of physics for someone to break it without your knowledge. Well, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> Put it another way, you are literally more likely to see pigs fly than see somebody break your quantum encryption protocol. That's the kind of security that could revolutionize our cyber economy and keeps people like me comfortable when I go online and I buy my full-size stormtrooper outfits. I mean, my normal grown-up stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much.